Welcome back, guys. Do you remember this thing? Our trash bag with our 1975 Volvo Penta AQ130C engine in it. Well, we got everything we need to finish her. All right, let's see here. So one of the bigger issues were, was that we had, uh, well, we still have it on there. We have a crusty manifold. This old girl, she's coming off. No more crusty manifold. And over here, we got a shiny new exhaust manifold. And we got some gaskets too. That's so rough in there, dude. Yeah, it's meant for reduced exhaust velocity. Mm, increased yeah. surface area. Yeah. Heat exchange? Yeah, because in the exhaust, you really don't want the exhaust flowing too quickly or else too much horsepower, mm -hmm. boat explodes. It's like backwards porting. Right, exactly. <laughs> Slow <laughs> the air down. So, I mean, none of this is bolted on, so we'll have to take all this stuff off, but yeah, we're getting rid of that. It's going in the dumpster. So we got our uh, little bench set up. Got ye old shiny man intake export exhaust <laughs> manifold. <laughs> By this? Yeah. Let's see this together. It doesn't really matter that we didn't get a new one, a new exhaust piece like this, is because this is just going to dump out into the water. So any rust really is just gonna get pushed out of there and that's not a problem. We were just worried about in here because a lot of this water goes through the engine system and if we didn't get a new one, it was just gonna cause a mess and probably ruin our engine. That's on. She's together. Woo! So now Throw we can back. now we can put her back on. Camera come. The moment, dude. Bolts don't line up. Imagine. <laughs> so this, it's junk. It's old. It's gross. Let's get rid of it. Actually, didn't we do a lot of the engine work and then touch the boat? So like yeah. we didn't. Well, know. We were doing demo in the boat. Oh. We didn't know that we had to redo the whole boat. Yeah, and that escalated quickly. Yeah. Look at this. Uh... Am I in the rail? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's much better. Wait, is there a washer on that? Yeah, there is. Feels like it's getting real tight. Oh, there we go. That's good. Oh, no! No! Yeah, she's broken off water. <laughs> I know. If there was anything, I'd be like, oh yeah, we can... <laughs> I know what the problem is. And then intake manifold, and then... Not rebellion. No? No. Like, stuff in there. No. At no point. If it doesn't, oh, I'm gonna cry, dude. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. Who knows? And that gets you closer. Ooh. 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 Hey. Ooh. Where does this go? Is that not that there? Guy, yeah. Are you kidding me? Right, so we have to get that off. I think she's a. Uh... Did we torque that? Too fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> good. So, so I, like, I don't want to fucking touch. <laughs> I'm like, I'll break another bolt. <laughs> I don't remember torquing that. <laughs> that was tight, dude. So right now, guys, we're just trying to get this pipe here hooked up to the carburetors and to the fuel pump. Yet again, another day where we come here and we're like, wow, we need a whole bunch of things. The gist of it, we got the exhaust manifold on, got the intake manifold on, we gotta clean up the carbs, they're a mess. 
Uh, we also have the wrong size gaskets for the carb. Yeah, we need new gaskets for this because apparently they're just too big, which is interesting. Maybe I just ordered the wrong ones. Well, I think did they come in that like massive kit that you got. It's like, didn't you buy a whole yeah, gasket maybe kit? Maybe that, they came from that. It's good. I stripped the bolt here. I got to get that out. It's annoying. But yeah, so the fuel <laughs> system like, is kind of Smash cuts us trying to get that out next time. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we got the fuel line in place here, which that bolts to the two carburetors that will I'll be cleaning up on the side uh, at my house. And then we just got to bolt this up, carbs up, put oil in it, make sure we hook up the electrical system, and we'll fire it up. Yeah, we're close. We're close. We're real close. Today hey, we're gonna be doing engine work. We had to wait for parts. They're in. We're hopefully gonna put this thing to together as best we can. It's a beautiful day out. Track it. Shout out to uh, Amsoil for this breaking oil. Uh, we paid full price. <laughs> and just a whole bunch of other parts, some nuts and bolts and gaskets. And so hopefully that will fit. Actually, let's check that right now because this is what we were worried about, right? Looks good. Looks like it will work. It's fire. Fire fitment. Yeah. yeah. And then the, okay, that mounts right in the fuel rail. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully these fuel lines don't leak. We probably should have gotten new gaskets for it, but. If you're paying attention to the earlier part of this video, I snapped a bolt off there. So we're gonna use this little speed out kit with this thing to size up whatever the bolt is because we couldn't buy the bolt online, it was out of stock. This side did like tap into it. Am I doing this Do right? Drill a hole first. Time to read literature. <laughs> but maybe that bolt's like too hard and it just destroyed it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, Mike got it out, thank you. <laughs> With a lot of drilling, but it worked. Nice. <laughs> really adding to the adding to the ambiance. How to build shop ambiance. <laughs> There's gotta be O-rings that go on these. You would think there's a way to bolt them down, but. Okay, so right now we're just putting all the O-rings on this pipe and it looks like I actually ordered all the right ones. So that'll be good. Hopefully no water leaks on this engine. Or I mean, it, it really it. is. It really is difficult to uh, put this on. Should we put the O-rings in the hole first? Mm. So if we put it in there, and just tappy tap her in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think the copper's just like a little bit bent that out of shape. Maybe from when we picked it, <laughs> picked the whole engine manifold up. <clears throat> Maybe we should like spit on it or something. <laughs> Put a bit of WD 40 or something. A little bit of Got her all lubed up. Should have done this before we put the. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, hold that side down. Can we just bend it? Oh, that's what she's. Yeah, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> well, we were trying to get the pipe in, but it flattened it. This is the worst design and it destroyed the O-ring. Right now what we're trying to do is use the old exhaust as like a mold almost. We're gonna try to heat up these copper pipes so it fits right in there. I like, uh, heat gun I know, look at my drawing. Hope and pray. Tease and peas. Huh? Tease and peas, dude. Whew, we did something. We were having a hard time getting this thing to fit. We heated it up with some, uh, what is it, torch? <laughs> with a blow torch. Uh, so it fits. And now what we're gonna do is take the entire intake manifold off. 
so that we can heat it up more and hopefully it just sits there perfectly. It forms to it once it cools down. She's a little beat up, but I think it'll work and maybe we'll hit it with some, because we destroyed the O-rings, we're gonna have to hit it with some like, I don't know, high temp silicone sealant and hopefully that'll work. If not, we would have to, I don't even know how we would do it, but thread those connections and maybe get some AN fittings or something, but that's a whole thing. So I'd really like to avoid doing that. Looks pretty good, dude. It's as good as we're gonna get it, and I'm not paying $300 for a new copper manifold. Definitely not its ideal diameter right now, but Increased not, velocity. Yeah, it's yeah. not completely crippled. No. Uh -huh. We need a... High temp silicone, I think? No. No, 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 no. You'll never be able to get it off again, but... You ever hear JB Weld? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That stuff. Okay, back from the store here. Got an assortment of goodies. Got some true fuel, because we're gonna try to get it started today, if possible. We're gonna be JB welding those uh, coolant lines down. I know, professional, I get it. And uh, <laughs> sand cloth, some fuel treatment, some crush washers, hose for the water, jumper cables for uh, some playtime later, and... <laughs> and hose clamps, so we're good. It's, it's fine, I'll put it on my fingers, I don't know. So the question is, do we wanna put the pipe in first and then seal around it? Oh. Smell it. Oh. <laughs> we're all more. Yeah, hold it like that, I'll do the dirty work and then we'll pack it. Right now we're using a technique that should not be used, but I've had it. <laughs> By the way, this is not, this manifold is not coming back off this other manifold. Got one shot. One opportunity. It's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> So all we ended up doing, guys, is using this JB Weld water weld. Hopefully it will seal the places where uh, where we were lacking the O-rings. It holds up to 1300 PSI. Yeah, it should do with copper and iron and aluminum and all that stuff. So we'll see if it holds. We're putting the oil in. It's breaking oil. Works? Yeah. Let there not be leaks. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is so wrong, but it's so right? Jake's putting the carburetors on, if you couldn't tell. New day of experiences with this thing. Turn the camera, please. Ooh, that is slow. All right, so. I, I mean, I read the manual. I made sure that I got the right amount, but it's good that we check at least on the halfway through the last bit. Bottle. This is, this is oil going in here for the first time in a year. The last time that we took oil out of this engine, it was 90% water. Dude, it was water, 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 water oil. oil. <laughs> I wish we had that on camera, dude. I do too. Back in the amateur days. Oh, look at that, dude. Right on the money. Perfect. I've definitely overfilled the oil before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll not do it again. Guilty. Nah, nah. The coil's right on where the starter is. Right. So. Oil is in. It's moving time. Jake's getting it set up so that we can hoist this thing off. I don't know how we want to lift it up because we can't hook up to anything that we need to get to here. Go to, through okay. here, over here, pick it up, put it on the, the pallet. Right. Then we can hook everything up. up. Okay. Oh. oh my God, it's about to come off the lift. Did a thing. It hasn't been off this engine stand in literally a long time. If we're gonna drop this thing, it better be on camera. All right, guys, so we're moving over to our little engine stand out there. We'll give you guys a grand tour. Obstacle number one, the busted pad. Oh, she caught on over. So, oh, fine, it's not heavy. Oh. <laughs> oh, this pad sucks. I know. Oh. <laughs> All right, 
That might hit the ground. The leg comes out. <laughs> Give me. hurts. Um, do you remember which orientation it goes in? I think it goes this way. Yeah? Yep. Just. Great clean. There's some in there. Is there? Yeah. Should we just clean it up? Yeah. This thing's gonna be loud. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at? How loud it's gonna be. I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that until now. Was it a ratchet strap or something? Oh, my gang is gonna go rolling somewhere. Potentially. Bolts! Jake's putting the starter on. We can throw that The flywheel on. We can put the exhaust manifold on. I'll go get that. He's gonna be spewing water. I wonder if there's a way we can redirect it. Bucket. Okay. <laughs> um, a bucket. <laughs> Okay, we did fluid checks. We're good, so we're gonna just dry. Well, we're gonna run it without any ignition to get some water through it and the oil through it. And then we gotta get a hose for the fuel and then we can run it with fuel. <laughs> the suspense. All right, so what we did is we cut up one of these jumper cables and he's screwing that on right there. And we're gonna hook it up to the battery there. So we got a really good connection and we just burned 18 bucks. <laughs> Well guys, for some reason, the starter is not turning over, so Jake had tested it and it worked before, but maybe something happened in between that time, so now it's just not working. Alright, by the grace of Dougie, we have another chance. Yeah. <laughs> we got this thing all sorts of jerry-rigged, which I'll explain in a second. I'm too excited, I want to get this going. Alright, go ahead. Okay, start the car. There we go. There's oil in there, right? Yep. Why is it smoking? Because the wires are getting hot. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. It's spinning. Not enough to make yeah, it start. How, I that thing shouldn't be that tight. Yeah, I think the wiring's still right. Well. We can't both have the same stance. <laughs> I was just thinking hands on the hips. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. We had a successful day. We got fuel system tied together. We got the cooling system tied together. Electrical is all tied together pretty much for the ignition. We just couldn't figure out the electrical on the starter. Just trying to crank it over a million times. It's almost like we're getting half power. We can still crank the engine. It, physically with a wrench. So we know that the engine's not too tight and there's nothing causing any issues there, but we noticed that the wires were getting hot. So back to the old manual, which I forgot at home, unfortunately, but I'm uh, gonna go look at that and figure out exactly how the wiring's supposed to go. Shout out to Mike and Dougie for coming and uh, doing your best to help us out. It was awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. See you on the frame. See you.